Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2020 Panini Legacy Football six box half case random team break number six. Big thanks to all of these folks for getting into the action. Really appreciate it. And there are all the teams in right there. Let's roll it. Let's randomize it. Four and a five, nine times for each list. Seven, eight, and ninth and final time. After nine times, Phil down to Anthony. Five and a four, nine times for the teams. Yes, J Dog, we break personals on Instagram seven nights a week. Except for tomorrow. Fourth of July. We're off. After nine times, we've got Pittsburgh down to Texans. That's right, Curtis. Fire. All right. Phil with the Steelers. Sean with the Chiefs. James with the Bills. Trevor with the Broncos. Big Boys 007. Cardinals. Karen. Cowboys. Patriots. Michael with the Buccaneers, Trevor with the Browns, Adam with the Vikings, Colton with the Lions, Jeremy with the Jags, Scott with the Saints, Jason with the Giants, Chris with the Eagles, Trevor with the Ravens, Justin with the Colts, Adam with the Seahawks and Bengals, Marty with the Chargers, Mark with the Dolphins, Colton with the Falcons, Mike with the Rams, Sean with the Raiders, Justin with the Redskins, Mike with the Jets, Ron with the Titans, Adam with the Niners, Ron with the Bears, Jake with the Panthers, Dylan with the Packers, and Anthony with the Texans. All right, so let's sort by column B. And we're going to pause the video, allow for some trading time, and i got to go grab the boxes. When we come back, we'll see if there's any trades, and then the break. All right, welcome back, folks. Found the boxes, and there were no trades, so let's roll. Thanks, everyone, for getting into the action. Appreciate it. And remember, I marked all of these six, so you know that these are for random team six. Did I leave you a, there's a checklist, some, if you're just joining us, there is a checklist somewhere in the chat. I'll be going by that to figure out where, I haven't memorized where all of these rookies go yet, so. You can see on the top camera all the boxes on cam. And there's also a link to the schedule in the chat as well. We are pretty much booked for the night. If that, has that Spectra sold out yet? No, there's three left in that Spectra number block. That's the only break I'm going to be doing tonight. So let's fill that up. If that doesn't fill by the time I'm done with, I think, Select Baseball, then we're going to, we're going to call it. I'm sure it'll sell out by then. Though. Everything else will be breaking on a Sunday. So just check that out. And we're off tomorrow. The live streams, both live streams, the personal breaks on Instagram and this channel that you're watching right here. We are off for 4th of July tomorrow. So all other breaks will go sunity. Correct. Yeah, I will be, uh, and then I get tomorrow off, 4th of July, the r rare three-day weekend for me. I get tomorrow off, and then I'm off my usual Sunday and Monday. So Jason will be taking care of you guys on Sunday and Monday, as usual. We got a mini Joe Namath here, Legends. That'll be for Mike Cody and the Jets. We got Carson Wentz to 100. We'll sleeve and top all, top load all of those before they go out. 
And we have three color jersey and autograph Chase Claypool. Chase, where do you go, Chase? Steelers, maybe? That's Chase Young. Steelers, nice. And that will go to Phil with the Steelers. There you go. And Daniel Jones to 75. That'll be for the Giants, Jason B. Phil Rivers. If I miss any of these, don't worry. Our sorting and shipping team are good about catching some of those 999s or whatever. I'll try to catch as much as I can. There's Cole Komet to 25. We got LaMichael P. Ryan, 50. And Xavier McKinney. Charger? I got to learn all these. It's still, the, still preseason. Still preseason. Giants. There you go. New York football giants. That will be for Jason B. Brandon Richards, what's up? What happened with the promo? Anything yet? What what promo? His fan favorite, Mahomes to 100. There's Christian McCaffrey to 50. Oh, I need an extra box for this. All right, next box. We didn't have a 4th of July promo, Brandon Rich. Are you thinking about the 4th of July, the Jaspi Repack product? Maybe that's what you're thinking about? But yeah, if that's what you're thinking about, yeah, we did that earlier. I think the, that video is a two and a half hour video. I think that should be uploaded by now. I hope. I think so, yeah. And if you're looking for that video, uh, or if you were in that break, if you're looking for your names, I did include the link to the spreadsheet in the video description. So you can click that and it'll open up the list and what pack you were randomized and then you'll be able to uh, and you'll be able to see and since it's in order you can kind of fast forward to around where you would be. Oh yeah, that's that's what you're thinking of. Yeah, that wasn't a promo. That was that was an actual break with mystery boxes inside there as a possible redemption. So yeah, that happened earlier today. It was, it was a really cool break. All right, and there's Albert Owakunaum. Oko Obanum goes to the Denver Broncos. How do you make a Pinot Noir taste like no other? Start with the 
And of course there are big hits, Brandon Richards. Curated by Jaspies. It was a it was very much a boomer bust break. Here's Trevor with the with the Denver Broncos, but we made sure there were monsters in there. Curated by us, a special repack product just for you. Were there any big hits? Come on. Cam Akers to one fifty. All right, there's Len Dawson for the Chiefs, Mini. Yeah, and the monsters were monsters. Yeah, it would definitely a huge boom and bust. There's Isaiah Simmons. Is this an Isaiah that went? Oh, now I don't know anymore. Isaiah Simmons is a Cardinals. That'll go to David Harrell. Big Boys 007. 14 out of 50. AZ with that one. And there's Howie Long to 50. And lasting legacies to, to 10. It's a pretty low number for Patrick Mahomes. That's uh, Sean Maddock with the Chiefs. There's an easier way. Try Mr. Clean Magic Eraser. Just wet, squeeze, and erase tough messes like bath tub soap scotch. And kick on freeze from other doors. Now Mr. Clean Magic Eraser comes in disposable sheets. They're perfect for icky messes on stove tops, in microwaves, and all over the house. For an amazing clean, try Mr. Clean Magic Eraser and Mr. Clean Magic Eraser sheets. Yeah, the Kobe mixer box was pretty strong. This Untuck It commercial, everyone's probably seen these Untuck It commercials, right? I mean, it looks like a fine t-shirt. <laughs> But it's like, this commercial's so serious. Did you guys hear the commercial in the background? He was just like, he was just like, I just couldn't find a good shirt that looked good untucked. Some were too short, others were too long. So finding a shirt, so designing a shirt that would be perfect untucked became my passion. I was like, really? Specifically, a shirt that looks... Uh, listen, fashion designing, fine. But specifically, that one thing. It's so serious, too. The commercial's way too serious. I've got roped into this chopped marathon too. These are grill masters. They're outdoors. They're grilling. Fourth of July weekend, makes sense. A cowboy banana split with mango salsa. That looks pretty good. points. We'll collect those at the end. If there's more than one, we'll randomize it as one lot to someone at the end of the break. I hate that they're turning around. Like that. There is a 15 out of 25 Carson Wentz. First, I, it's a little on the on the thicker side. At first, I thought it was a dare to tear card, but it's not. All right, Eagles, Chris Parent. What you have here is a mango plantain chocolate parfait with a beer, maple syrup, 
There's Leonard Fournette for the Jags. Bill, you're gonna design a T-shirt. Bill's gonna design a white T-shirt that doesn't immediately make me look like Ricky from Boys in the Hood after next week. I haven't seen that movie in ages. Is Derek Henry to 150? Yeah. What was what was what was Kanye's shirts? They were like shirts he designed for APC or something like that, and they were like three hundred dollars a shirt. It was just a plain white T-shirt. It was like, how am I supposed to show off to my friend that this is a Kanye T-shirt? Doesn't say anything on it. All right, there's Justin Herbert to 100. I get. I guess I would have self satisfaction knowing that I was wearing a zillion dollar T-shirt that looked like a standard Hanes T-shirt. What is? Ooh, dual autograph, Chase Young and Jeff Okuda. Wow. So that is a randomizer between the Washington Football Club. <clears throat> I guess Redskins is canceled now. And uh, the Lions. Jeff Okuda. Washington or Detroit. Yeah, Cran Kanye did partner up with Gap for a uh, Yeah. He did partner up with the Gap. They're gonna do it. I guess it's the same with like when when like Philip Lim and Missoni did did their target diffusion lines. So I guess I guess Kanye is doing one with with Gap. And so maybe they're thinking I don't know for the aspirational fashionista can get Kanye stuff at the Gap in hopes that one day they can they can grow to uh, make money and spend money on actual Kanye branded stuff I suppose an entry level for the entry level person interested in fashion but still Gap Yeah, it's supposed to be cheap. I mean, I think that's the whole idea. It's supposed to be like more of an entry-level fashion price point, allegedly, from what little I've read. I've maybe read a headline and a paragraph of a story, so I don't know the deets, but it's usually why those big fashion designers will do that. All right, next box. I, I guess, I guess Kanye's still going on about how he wants people to be lining up around the block. I guess, I suppose that could still happen. You know, at the Gap in Times Square or something. All, all. Might get enough people out there. All right, this is Colin Jones. Yeah, uh, yeah. Imagine that seeing a line around the Gap. I think that's, I think that's what they were. Th I think that's what the Gap execs were thinking too. Is Isaiah Simmons, and we got. Uh, Brandon Ayuk, who I think is a Niner. Yes, San Francisco with that one. It's 
42 out of 50. Nice. San Francisco with that one. J-Dog had, had an Ohio State duel from the box he got, but not as nice as that one over there. Brandon, yeah, we'll probably do... We did uh, some boom and bust hit packs a few weeks ago as well. So yeah, the 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 repack thing. Yeah, we'll we'll be doing some. I don't know when the next time we're gonna do something at a two hundred pack scale. That was kind of a special thing. So I don't know when we're gonna do something that big. But every once in a while, we'll we'll do something on a on a smaller scale, 50, 60, 70 packs, or something like that. There's Randy Moss under the lights, cracked ice to ten. That's pretty cool. That is Patriots edition of Randy Moss. That'll be for Karen. Karen get randomized for Patriots? I think she did. Yeah. Here we go, Karen. There's Stephon Gilmore for Karen. Two boxes to go. Good luck. those baskets on the show Chopped? I think you can buy those. Using some, they got some nice baskets on there. Sardines, corn on the cob, and extra bantam? sort of wine and some sloppy joe filling. Devin Duvernay from Texas. Is he Devin is a Raven? Is that not numbered? There you go. That will be for Trevor. With the purple birds. Dalvin Cook to one ninety nine. Tyler Johnson, 16 out of 25. 
Luke Keekley to 299. And we've got futures, jersey and autograph, AJ Dillon. Ninety-five out of three ninety-nine. AJ Dillon, Green Bay Packers. Dylan Moore with Green Bay. Dylan with Dylan. Out of one hundred, Michael Vick. Uh, Colin Johnson to 150. And the last box, ladies and gents. Good luck. Box. Good luck, everybody. Two ninety nine. Warner, and we've got KJ Hill. Three color patch and autograph. KJ Hill is a Charger. 19 out of 399. That will be for Marty and the Bolts. There's Haskins to 150. I think those Dare to Tear cards are only uh, one per master case or one per inner case. But I feel like they're not necessarily, I think I feel like someone in the chat said the other week that they're not necessarily guaranteed though. There's Zach Moss. But the way they're short printed, they generally seem to fall one per case, but I don't think that means you're guaranteed one, though. There's Van Jefferson autograph. Uh, and Van Jefferson is a Ram. So a couple LA teams back to back. That's Mike Costello with the Ramily. That Joe Burrow, Joey B to 50, and the Drew Lock to 199. The last little bit here before a kind of a big randomizer here at the end. And that's the 25 fan favorites. 
EA, what's going on? How are you? It's gonna be Garoppolo. All right, there you go. There's a dual autograph right here. Chase Young, Jeff Okuda, Washington or Detroit. And then we'll run, everyone has a shot at those uh, those little tiny points there. All right, so let's go new dice roll. First one will be for the points. Let's grab everybody's names from Dave down to Justin. And we've got um, Washington and Detroit. All right, let's roll it and randomize each list two and a three five times. One, two, three, four, and five. After five times, points, a little consolation prize for Marty. 150 points going your way, Marty. There you go. Two and a three five times. Team on top gets it. One. Two, three, four, and fifth and final time. Flips to Detroit. Goes to the Lions. Colton Carver gets the one out of 25 dual autograph Chase Young and Jeff Okuda, former teammates. There you go. Nice. And there you go. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That's the break. That was Random Team 6 2020 Panini Legacy Football. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. And we'll see you next time on jazbeescasebreaks.com.